This vision brought the plight of Timor-Leste's population under Indonesian occupation to the attention of the world. Filmmaker Max Stahl kept his camera rolling during a pro-democracy protest in 1991 at the Santa Cruz Cemetery in Dili, while hundreds were fired upon and killed by soldiers. They were arrested in the cemetery, wounded when they were arrested, taken to the military hospital. And instead of being treated in the military hospital, they were killed there. Mr Stahl buried his film in the ground so it could be smuggled out of the country for broadcast, prompting protests around the world, including in Darwin, where protesters lay in the streets to demand Australia's action. Because he was so courageous, it changed the, the, the course of Timor. You know, it changed the way the world was looking at Timor. Max Stahl devoted himself to Timor-Leste, returning to film before and after the country's independence. Former President and Prime Minister José Ramos Horta describing him as the country's treasured son. I don't think there's one Timorese person that doesn't know Max. Max is a very important person in, the, in Timor's journey to independence. I think at the moment the whole nation is mourning his passing. He died in Brisbane with his family by his side after a battle with cancer. He was 66. Felicity James, ABC News.